Hey, this is Avery's first time trying banana. I like banana. banana. Oh, <laughs> uh oh. What do you think? Mm. Is that good? Do you like it? I think she likes it. Is that good banana? Do you like banana? I think it's a yes for banana. Do you like banana? Porter, say happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Woo happy Thanksgiving to all. So we've got the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade playing on the TV. The boys, I think they were excited for it to start. And then when they saw what it actually was, they were unimpressed. But we're still watching it, kind of. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. I'm so thankful to all my subscribers and everybody that watches my videos. Anybody that takes an interest in my life, I'm thankful for you. I hope you guys are all having an awesome Thanksgiving. This year, for the first time ever, I am hosting my side of the family. So usually we host Anthony's family. We started doing that geez, once we lived in Columbus and had kids and didn't go to Toledo anymore. So it's been a few years of that. But this is the first year that I am hosting my side of the family. Usually we go to my mom's house and she hosts it, but this year, they are temporarily living in my sister's house and waiting for their new house to be renovated. So they didn't have anywhere to host us all. We can't fit in my sister's tiny, I think her house is like 1300 square feet. Or it's very tiny house, 1400 square feet, I don't know. So everyone is going to come here this year and honestly, that works for me. Um, it's a little stressful hosting two times in a row because we just hosted Anthony's family a few days ago, but to have all of my kids stuff here. Um, the big one is Avery. She's so particular about her naps and napping in her crib and her room that I really don't mind hosting this year. I honestly could do every year um, just cause then it wouldn't require me to load all the kids and take them places. But anyway, yeah, so we are prepping. My mom just left. She came over and brought over the turkey. We have a 25 pound turkey. For reference, when we hosted Anthony's family, I had an 11 pound turkey and we had leftovers. We were doing a 25 pound turkey this year. Here he is, this is a big boy. Um, usually my mom does her own recipe. She puts the turkeys like in a brown paper bag. Bully, 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 bully. Yeah, but this year I said, since I'm hosting, I wanna use my recipe. Um, I just found it online and you like mix a bunch of spices together, put them inside the turkey. Then, oh, who is that? Is that Paw Patrol? Yeah. Then you um, stuff a bunch of different vegetables in the turkey and an orange, and then cover it with tin foil. The special, unique thing about my recipe is you take a whole bottle of champagne and you pour it all over the turkey and a little inside the turkey too, um, and also a can of chicken broth and it makes the turkey so moist and so flavorful and so so good so we're gonna do my turkey this year instead of my mom's and see what my family thinks of that we've also got um, mashed potatoes ready so anthony and i do special mashed potatoes we do loaded mashed potatoes which his parents introduced us it's like swanson's it's not even like unique it's just swanson's potatoes and then we're gonna do a batch of regular potatoes too so we've got those ready we've got rolls we'll put those in and we've got some snacks for people to snack on we have more in the pantry in the fridge and then this is a puzzle 
And then we have um, pumpkin bread. My mom has an amazing pumpkin bread recipe that we make every year. I think I've made pumpkin bread three or four times already this year. I love it so much. Um, you guys know I love banana bread. Pumpkin bread is just as good. I love it too. So anyway, we were just prepping a bunch of stuff, but we feel like we're at a good place now. I don't have to put the turkey in until 11.30. So that is um, waiting. Uh, we're gonna wait till a little closer to pour the champagne and the chicken broth over it. The boys are just watching the parade. I just put Avery down for a nap. So I'm um, doing well, I just need to clean a little bit, put some more stuff away. Anthony and I cleaned a bunch yesterday, but you do still do some more stuff today. The big question is how we're gonna fit everybody. I think we have 13 or so people coming in our dining room table only seats six <laughs> but we have a really big um kitchen table that actually has an insert to make it even bigger so here's our table and then we have an insert to make it even bigger um so we can fit quite a few people here and then we also have a card table that just like is foldable with four foldable chairs that we can bring up to so we'll make it work but definitely don't have the nice setup that my parents usually have like they have they like my dad made a customized like insert to lengthen their dining room table and they have like nice white cloths like I don't have any of that <laughs> so sorry <laughs> but yeah anyway just happy Thanksgiving to you all Anthony's out working out right now but he'll be home in about a half hour or so um but yeah, I'm excited to have a Thanksgiving. Is coming over. Yeah, all my a lot of my siblings are coming over, but not all of them. My sister Kelly won't be here. She's in um, Cleveland with her boyfriend, with his family, and then my brother and sister-in-law just had their baby Camden. So I think they might not be coming, but we're all gonna get together tomorrow. So um, tomorrow is my Christmas. I am so excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Black Friday. It's the best day in the whole world to me. I love it better than Christmas, better than my birthday, better than anything. It's just a whole day of shopping. I get to shop for others, which is fun. I don't like to shop for myself. And Anthony always takes the day off of work and he watches the kids for me so I don't have to worry about kids. And I am so, so excited for that. I um, just have to get through today and then we have the best day of the year, which is tomorrow. Let me know what you think about Black Friday. Do you participate in it? It's really sad because my growing up of Black Friday was like my mom and I would get up at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., go sit in the car, go stand outside, wait for them to open up the store at like 5 or 6 a.m. and run in and try to get all the deals. And it's just not the same anymore, as you all know. I think stores have been doing black friday deals for like a month now so it's just not as fun as what i grew up doing but we're still gonna make the most out of it and hit a bunch of stores i have bought nothing for the kids this year uh, so far so i really need to get on that and i have a couple ideas in my head and i really need clothes for grayson and avery just because Grayson's oldest, so I always need more clothes for him. Porter always gets leftovers from Grayson and hand-me-downs, I guess you could say. And then Avery, I have no girl clothes of the upper um, sizes. I actually just sized her up um, into nine-month clothes because she is just too big for the six-month clothes now. So I need to go and get a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm just so excited to go shopping. So... Anyway, I'll pull out the camera here and there throughout the day of our Thanksgiving festivities. And yeah, I'm excited to eat turkey round two. We've been having turkey Thanksgiving leftovers all week. And so now here we go again, Thanksgiving round two. Good thing uh, turkey sandwiches are really, really yummy to eat. Bye-bye. <gasps> Avery's ready for her first Thanksgiving. Happy Look at this. Look at this cute little outfit. Oh, so cute. And her little, like, her little socks keep falling down, but they're like knee high socks. <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> You're already. Look at this cute tutu. It's adorable. And it has a little bow, which I'll put on her when we do her helmet break today. Huh? We're watching the parade. It's almost done. The kids keep asking where Santa is, they just want to see Santa. The, ro the Rockettes. What's the Rockettes? They're dancers. 
They live in what? They live in what? They live in what? Hi, baby. They live in what? Hi, baby. Wasn't Yeah, you like it? Goodbye, smells like pee. Coop de Blanc. Who was that? Whose was it? I'm here with um, Avery, Avery and, and there's our elf. Grayson, and I'm just now editing my Thanksgiving vlog, and I realized that I took a bunch of clips at the end there, and I didn't really explain. No, Avery's gonna be grumpy. Hang on. Okay, sorry, Avery got grumpy. So anyway, I was editing the Thanksgiving vlog, and I took a bunch of clips at the end and didn't really explain what was going on, so it might look kind of confusing if... You haven't seen my past Thanksgiving Day vlogs. So really quickly, I'm just going to recap it for you. It was a really good Thanksgiving. Anthony and I tackled feeding everybody together. He's an awesome partner in the kitchen. And my mom helped a ton as well, which was really helpful. We got everything done on time. Nothing got burnt. Um, There's actually a lot of stuff that we forgot that we had bought forever ago and then just like never brought it out uh, so we ended up finding a whole bunch of stuff but anyway that doesn't matter so after thanksgiving dinner we always have two competitions for thanksgiving and the two competitions that we do are a baking competition where everybody has to use a certain ingredient that my mom picks out every year um one year it was cinnamon one year it was like vanilla so just different things like that. This year it was chocolate. So we had to make something that had chocolate in it. You could make a dessert. You could make a wow. dish. You could make anything you want. An appetizer. Um, whatever you think is going to get the most votes by everyone. So usually everybody does desserts. Because in my family we really like desserts. Yeah. So this year it was chocolate. So everybody made different desserts. So that was my one clip showing you of everything. There was um, brownies. There was chocolate cake. There was a litter box cake. Which I would never heard of before but my brother peter made a cake and then actually put it in a, a clean litter box and like used tootsie rolls to make it look like poop and it actually it tasted really good but anyway i made uh brownies with pretzels in them and caramel it got like dead last nobody liked it it was horrible at least it was too dry i think i had never made it before i just found it online thought it looked good so anyway Everybody did a different um, dessert. My sister Kelly and her boyfriend Nathan won that competition. And then we do a second competition, which is our wine competition. And basically everybody picks out a wine to bring, a wine that you think is going to win. And in my family, we like sweet wines. So if you bring a red wine, a dry wine, 
you're not gonna win. So you need to bring a sweet white wine. That's usually what wins. And basically, you, uh, we all try them blind. So we put all the wines in a brown paper bag and then you try them, you rank them, and then whoever gets the most votes wins and everybody brings a second bottle of whatever wine they bought and the winner gets to take all the second bottles home. So again, my sister Kelly and her boyfriend Nathan won that competition as well. So they were just killing it. Anthony and I picked, um, it was like, it was supposed to taste like lemonade. It was like not technically a wine. It was like, kind of, I don't remember what it was called, but we had it. It was like a wine cooler. I don't know. And it did not taste like lemonade at all. I was very disappointed in it. I'm not a wine drinker. I've never tasted this wine before. It was not good. I don't remember what it was, but I wouldn't recommend it. I guess that doesn't help you. Something with lemonade. Anyway, so those were the two competitions that we did. I just took a couple clips of those. Anthony um, and Nathan helped like tally up the winners. And so that last clip was like Anthony reading off the comments, which were hilarious. I think this was the last year of the wine competition. I think we've done it for the past several years and everybody's kind of getting tired of the wine. I think the food competition will stay because there's so many different kinds of foods and the ingredient always changes. But next year, instead of a wine competition, I think we're going to do like a mixed drink competition and um, just make different kind of dr mixed drinks. So we'll see how that goes next year. But anyway, it was an awesome Thanksgiving. I survived um, hosting two different families, two different Thanksgivings and a uh, food and wine competition. And now I am done. And now Anthony and I are going to clean our house and try to get it back to what it was. So wish us luck on that. But I hope you all had an awesome Thanksgiving and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.